<laughs> What's wrong, Roger? Something ate holes in all my sweaters. They're ruined. <gasps> Gracious. Some of my best costumes are sweater-based. How am I supposed to be Japanese subway molester Shinju Omegawa without his baby blue cardigan? Yeah, That's the culprit! Right there! Step on him, Steve! I don't want to mess up my shoes! We can't kill it! That caterpillar is gonna change into a beautiful butterfly. It's ugly and disgusting, like Frankie Muniz, and it's just gonna become a moth and stay ugly and disgusting. Like Frankie Muniz. Big Clippers fan. Things can change for the better, Roger, and I'm gonna prove it. This little guy will be a butterfly, you'll see. First of all, those jars are for farts only. Second, I... What is that? Oh, no. I always put gross stuff in trash bags in the back of a closet and then forget about them. Who knows what's in there? Oh, man, this is gonna be gross. Why don't you just dump it out? Oh, man, here it comes. It's gonna be... Wait, what's this? It's a costume. And it's lovely. Leather vest, non-matching leather pants, Albuquerque Zoo Discovery Center t-shirt. Why did I ever stop wearing this? Well, what character is it for? I can't remember. Well, who cares? I'm taking this show into town. This is the perfect outfit for getting yogurt. I'm gonna get so many tiny M&Ms. Get out of there, Snickers fragment. You're not welcome here. I Wait got it. Minute. You opened it last time. Cup check. Mm, punk. Ooh, Mr. and Mrs. Stan and Francine Smith. Mm -hmm. Can we help you? It's me, Tonji. Who? Tonji from Nigeria. I was the child you sponsored for just the price of a cup of coffee a day. Oh my god, Tonji? You're real? What are you doing here? I come to live with you. Wait, does this mean Africa is real? <laughs> Good in this. Kill the Swinton good. That's him! Son of a bitch! <gasps> you got some nerve showing your face around here, Ricky Spanish! Slap! Slapity slap! Ricky Spanish? Who? Oh. Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish? Where? It's Ricky Spanish! Get him! <laughs> Steve, you gotta bring me a change of clothes! Not a good time. I'm pleading my intimates. You don't understand the costume I found. It's Ricky Spanish! It's Ricky Spanish! Oh, yes! Get Ricky Spanish! He's the only one this angry mob should be after. This is wonderful. I am actually eating enough food to produce a poop. So, uh, Tunji, what made you decide to come find us? Your letters. Dear Tunji, we think about you every day. We wish we could give you a roof over your head and t-shirts from the teams that actually won the Super Bowl. Yours always, Stan and Francine Smith. Why would you write that? I didn't think he'd live past ten. Oh, <laughs> Tunji, we're glad you're here, but how long you plan on staying? You said a short time, right, Tunj? Yes, yes, I will stay forever. Is there any chance you're gonna surprise us and be the Prince of Zamunda? None. Show your face, Ricky Spanish. Okay, I'm at the alley where we rolled dice on Paula Abdul's dead body. Give me the clothes, give me! We gotta get out of here! Well, what's going on, Roger? Who is Ricky Spanish? The worst persona I've ever done. Oh, come on. It's true. He's a lying, thieving sociopath. There's hardly a person in this town who he hasn't stolen from, cheated, or worse. Everyone hates Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. <laughs> come on! Wow. Sounds like Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Really is your worst persona ever. Keep your voice down. These people will kill me if they find out I'm... Ricky Spanish. Wait, you're burning up Ricky Spanish? Ricky Spanish. I have no choice. I love being Ricky. I mean, the outfit alone. Everyone around here hates him. That's the downside of living in a small town. Everyone is in everybody's business. 
God, I want to move to New York. But I'm scared, you know? It seems like something you do if you have no money or a lot of money, and I'm sort of in between. You can still be Ricky. Just make him a better person. Then people will like him. Ricky can't be redeemed, Steve. I don't believe that. Everyone can change for the better. This guy's gonna do it, and so can Ricky. Ricky Smash. You... you really think I can change? Bitch, what did I just say? Come on! I'll help you make amends with every person you've wronged. Okay, let's do it. Awesome! This is gonna be great! And I guarantee you, everyone you wronged will forgive you. Kill you, Ricky Spanish. Kill you, Ricky Spanish. This exercising to things you hate is really working. Gene, jackets, Timothy's bangs. Gene, jackets. Timothy's bangs. Carol, I robbed. Eduardo, I stabbed. Tina, I taught how to kiss. Gave her some bad information, never corrected it. She's out there darting her tongue like this. Well, get ready, because we're going to make amends with everyone on that list until Ricky Spanish is redeemed. Okay, who's first? Brian? It's me, Rick. <laughs> Damn you, Ricky Spanish! He's here to apologize. Jeez. What did Ricky do to you anyway? Tijuana. He did Tijuana to me. Oh, we were having ourselves a fine old time down Mexico way. <laughs> yeah, well, I can take care of you. <laughs> then out of the blue, Ricky jumped me and left me stranded. With no ID, I was stuck in TJ for six months. I had to work as the squeegee boy at a donkey show. Every night watching a different girl sleep with the donkey I loved. Brian, I'm so sorry. I was a bad guy, but I'm trying to change. Ah, oh, hell, Ricky, I can't stay mad at you. I'm on way too many antipsychotics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve Smith, Ricky Spanish, we're doing cocaine and shooting guns. Join us! I just met this woman, but I'm already really into it. Avery, I'm here to apologize for... for killing your wife. Killing my wife? When? You seriously don't remember? <laughs> hey, man. It was her birthday. And you know how I am when I drink champagne. Yeah! Oh, yes, I seem to recall something like that. So, you're not mad at me? Why should I be? As you can see, everything in my life is going perfectly. <laughs> ah! This is really working, Steve. They forgave me, and I feel great. See? I told you anyone can change for the better. Okay. Next up is Daniel. Daniel? I can't face Daniel. What I did to him was too horrible. Skip down. Skip down to someone else. No, forget it. Let's start a business. We'll buy a truck and do pedicures in it. We'll call it Nail Salon Wheels Truck. I don't know. Wait, who's Daniel? We worked together at Plantain Republic. He told me about a huge sweater shipment, and we stole it. But the heist went bad, and I pinned the whole thing on him. He's been in jail ever since. I can't do this anymore. I feel constricted. I can't breathe! <laughs> That's just the cocoon you feel around you, Roger. You're changing into something better, like this little guy. You think? Yes. I know it's not easy, but you have to stick it out. It's like Saturday Night Live. The opening sketch stinks, the monologue is awful, but then Keenan does what up with that, and it's all worth it. Okay, okay. I'll face Daniel. Right after I finish huffing whatever's in this bag. <laughs> 